All right, let's turn these uh, English statements into logical expressions. Um, first off, you can't go down the water slide if you're under 42 inches tall unless you are 12 or older. So let's break this up into its constituent parts. So let P be the statement. You can go down the water slide. Let Q be the statement. You are under 42 inches tall. And let R be the statement. You are 12 years old or older. OK, so what we're saying is that if you are under 42 inches tall, and you are um, 40, 40, 12 years old or older, then you can't go down the water down. Sorry, I said, I said that backwards. If you're under 42 inches tall, but R is false, and you're less than 12 years old, then you can't go down the water slide. So one way of expressing this would be that if Q is true and not R is true, you're under 42 inches tall, but you're not 12 or older, then that means that you can't go down the water slide. So that's one way of expressing this. Another way of expressing this would be that using the contrapositive, P implies not Q and not R. And if I apply De Morgan's laws to this, that means that P implies not Q or R. In other words, if you can don't go down the water slide, then either you're not under 42 inches tall or you're 12 years old or older. So that would be a, either any one of these three would be the, a correct way of translating this sentence. Uh, the next one is meant to be a light, light-hearted one from the Blues Brothers. It's dark outside and we're wearing sunglasses. So let P be the statement, it's dark outside. And let Q be the statement, we're wearing sunglasses. Then clearly this would be the simple conjunction P and Q. It's dark outside and we're wearing sunglasses.